Hi everyone, my name is Rain and this is my husband channel. Welcome to our channel. This is the third episode of our Sardinia travel series. Recently, we spent two weeks exploring this Mediterranean island known for its crystal clear waters, wonderful beaches, rocky mountains, and unspoiled nature. In this episode, we will share with you some of the best destinations in the Baune coast, including two of the most unique beaches in Sardinia. We also visited a semi-abandoned village with a very intriguing legend. Join us until the end to learn more about these incredible places. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow us in our adventures. After visiting the village of Zeulo to learn more about the centenarians' secrets to long life in Sardinia, we continued our trip driving to Baune for a little more than two hours. There is no dull moment driving in Sardinia because the views are always changing. In our way, we passed near the impressive Perda Iliana. We couldn't avoid stopping the car to film this extraordinary natural monument from the air. We have arrived in Baune and Chano is trying to park our rental car here. The view is amazing. This accommodation had a perfect location for us. Great value for money and nice views from the room window. in in our accommodation one thing that we have learned is that the streets are very narrow and steep so you have to ask the owner of your accommodation if you have a good parking space even if the sunset was very cloudy it was totally worth it to reach the viewpoint over the imponent Pedra Longa. Once there, we went down to the seafront to admire better this stunning rock formation. Only below this 128 meters tall limestone pyramid, you can understand its massive size. We were so amazed thinking that Pedra Longa is a famous spot for mountain climbers. The coast of Maunei had just started to surprise us with its majestic beauty. After sunset, we returned to Baune for dinner. We kept trying new Sardinian food in every meal. In our trips, we share the dishes to taste as many options as possible. Good morning everyone! It's 7 in the morning and now we are heading to Cala Goloritze. It's one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Let's see if it's worth the hype. I'm eating my breakfast inside the car because Chano already ate his breakfast while I was preparing this morning. Do we have a 20 minute drive going to the start of the hike? These are the roads that I like the most in Sardinia. <sighs> Me too. It's like a roller coaster. 
They have created a very convenient free parking at the beginning of the trek to Cala Goloritze. It's not allowed to start the hike before 7.30 in the morning and you have to return before 5 p.m. in this moment of the year. There is no other legal way to reach the beach. We bought our tickets online the day before, but you can buy it at the kiosk too. Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> what? <laughs> Is he even a boy? He's trying to bite your hat. He's still with us. We don't know his name because I forgot to ask. So I will name him Rocky, just like all the dogs that we've met in our trips. <laughs> And he's gonna be our travel guide. Yes, he will guide us today. Rocky, is that the way? Are you sure? Are you happy? See? It's my dream of having a dog. It came true! It's not yours. Really? We noticed that this dog was barking on the sides of the path. And then we realized that he was actually scaring off animals roaming in the forest, such as huge mountain goats and pigs, so that tourists like us can walk freely and peacefully on the designated path. He's so cute and adorable, but brave and courageous. He's chasing the big goats. He killed me so good. There's some pigs. Of course, Rocky. Bear in mind that there is a 250 people limit per day to reach the beach. So be sure you book in advance if you're coming in high season to avoid disappointment. You'll have to hike down through a rocky path for more than 3 kilometers to get to the sea. It wasn't very difficult for us to go down. But only do this route if you're an active person and don't forget to use closed shoes. We absolutely loved the different landscapes that we were crossing and we saw so many different plants and animals too. I'm listening to the sounds of the birds. They are Italian birds, so they sing very well. We haven't reached to the beach yet, but the hike is already very worth it. It's really amazing. We are surrounded by these flies, <laughs> by these huge cliffs. I'm so tired taking videos of rain walking. <laughs> oh, sorry, just here. I thought that was you. Sorry, sorry. That's a mistake. And then Cala Goloritze appeared in front of us. At the same time, we both shouted, It's so blue! Pictures are not quite Seriously, you have to see this water with your own eyes to believe that its turquoise color is real.
after taking a lot of videos and pictures, we went to the end of the beach to find a quiet area and there we spent several hours enjoying this evocative paradise. Please be extra careful. Sadly, I had to help a lady who broke her leg when she stepped wrongly between two rocks. Cala Goloritze was created in 1962 by a landslide from a nearby cliffs. So these beautiful rocks can be unstable and accidents occur every year. We have to admit that this place was one of the highlights of our trip. Visiting here was a heavenly dream and we totally agree with those who named Cala Goloritze as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. This is not part of the sea, why are you here? Put that. I see a fish there. No, I'm a, I'm a mermaid. There are so many fishes, and they are very near. Oh, yes, I heard you. We spent the whole day here in this beautiful paradise beach, and now we are going back. It's gonna be, they say, two hours back. I think we can make it shorter. Starting. One hour? One hour? Deal? <laughs> One important thing, if you can hear, be extra careful. The rocks are falling and then also the terrain is a little bit uh, rough. It's a rocky journey, journey, literally and figuratively. What do you think? It's one of the most beautiful beaches in the world? I think so, it's very unique. We did it! We're already back in the parking lot. One hour and 30 minutes. And we were slow because I'm wearing barefoot shoes. The town of Baunei is one of the best bases to explore this part of the coast of eastern Sardinia. Its location overlooking the valley below offers incredible views of the surrounding area. When we were there, its charming streets were always lively with both locals and tourists moving around. We finished our day with delicious pizzas for dinner. A great way to recover some calories after our intense trekking day. Buongiorno a tutti! This is our second day in the coast of Baunei. Where we are going today, mi amor? We are currently driving for one hour from Baunei until Calagonone, from where we will take a boat to one of the most beautiful beaches in Sardinia too. It is called Cala Luna. Cala Luna. It's the beach of the moon. The beach of the caves. Maybe it's because it's like a, a, a moon. We will show you how amazing this beach is. I'll be waiting to come home and give you everything that I have. On our way, we pass near Goropu Canyon, one of the most spectacular and deepest gorges in Europe. This is how it ought to be. Every day should be like a hovering cloud. Can bother 
first to step on our feet. Oh no. When we arrived to the seaside town of Kalagunone, we immediately bought the tickets for the first journey to Kalaluna. This Sardinian jewel can be reached only by a long intense hike of more than one hour or by a 30-minute boat ride. We couldn't believe that we were going to have the boat for ourselves and consequently the beach too, at least until the next boat arrived 90 minutes later. Luna is without a doubt one of the prettiest beaches in Europe. Its unspoiled natural shape and symbolic caves are another highlight that you shouldn't miss in a trip to Sardinia. It's really huge! It's your private beach? Yeah. Where are the people? Mine, no other people. I felt like the protagonist of a movie while we were filming in this piece of paradise. One more time, you have to get the loser of all the races around the world. No, she lost. Hi. One more time. No, one more. No, no, no. You know you lost. You know you lost. I'm fighting Back in the town, we went to eat to a local restaurant decorated in a very cool way. The food was once again fantastic. in the museum. It's a guided tour museum. I'm so excited to learn more about the culture of Sardinia. Near Cala Gonone, we went to visit an ethnographic museum located in a very charming area. If you want to learn more about Sardinia culture and traditions, 
the Parco Museo Saba Frisca is an excellent choice. This family-owned museum, which name means fresh water, is managed by the owners of this land, so you can feel the passion of the staff about their ancestors' heritage. You'll join a one-hour guided tour through some of the open-air areas, but also you'll be brought inside some antique buildings where you'll see a compelling collection of items used in Sardinia from past times. Their accurate explanations in English will allow you to understand everything much better. has some cute animals too. We just finished visiting the museum. We really loved it. We highly recommend that you visit the museum when you are coming to Sardinia. Now, we are on our way to the last location for today's adventure. It's a really interesting place. I found it just a few days ago. It's a semi-abandoned village in the province of Nuoro, and it's called Lolove. Lolove. Our last destination of the day was a semi-abandoned enchanted village in the mountains of Nuoro. Lolove may not be one of the most famous towns in Sardinia, but there is an enigmatic story behind this medieval village. Legend says that in the Gothic era, some nuns of Lolove were accused of having carnal relations with the shepherds, so they were banned from the local convent and before leaving, they curse the village in the following way. The love will be like the sea water. It would never grow, but also it would never die. Today, its empty stone buildings and quiet cobbled stone streets are a glimpse to the past of Sardinia. It may seem that the best days of Lolove are long gone, that it is closer to die than to fully live again, but then, we met some friendly locals and we learned that the 12 inhabitants of the town are working passionately to bring visitors back. There are a lot of abandoned houses here. But this one is open, so let's try and see what's inside. You go first. <laughs> Come you have, on! You have the camera. Come on! You go first. Now, Lolove, included in the list of the most beautiful Italian towns, offers a B&B, a museum, and the opportunity to merge with past traditions and the surrounding nature. It's burning! It is the secret for 100 years old. Eh, si, si, si. Si. <laughs> he said that a woman was living there, she lived 100 years old and she drank this uh, every one, one every day. Hey! 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 Before heading to our next destination of the trip, 
Chano decided to stop again in Pedra Longa to film it with sunny light. I must admit that even if I don't love waiting for his drone sessions, he really knows how to maximize the light over the landscape to capture it in an amazing way. That ends the third episode of our Sardinia travel series. Thank you so much for joining us. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to help us grow and create more travel content. Also, comment down below if you know other incredible places in the coast of Bonne. Stay tuned for our next episode because we will share with you more incredible places in the island of Sardinia, including more breathtaking beaches but totally different to the ones we have showed you so far. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.